Today's video we are going to talk about cleaning jobs in Qatar, expectation, the minimum salary, and what to expect. Remember, cleaning jobs or cleaning services like any other jobs in Qatar, the majority of the mainstream types of cleaning tends to be categorized by cleaning activity itself. The services of cleaning may range from domestic, commercial, and what we call general cleaning. For those that will be coming for the first time for the cleaning services or for the cleaning jobs. Like when we talk about security jobs, remember this time there are a lot of opportunities around in big companies, hospitality, in malls, in airports, in hospitals and very many other commercial offices or very many other domestic uh, and residential areas. Why? Because we cannot fail to talk about the grand opportunity that has created these other opportunities, which is the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Remember this time is Qatar 2022 with the FIFA World Cup. And there's a lot of opportunities on ground. Remember, we can also not fail about uh, talk about the services. And one of the services we can look at, the general services, or what we call commercial services like cleaning cars, that is also part of another job that we can talk about. Remember, when we are talking about these types of jobs, you are normally given what you call induction training for you to do these types of jobs. You are given the know-how, you are given the training to even know how to use the required equipment. So remember, these are companies that are recruited, companies that recruit you or someone will recruit you, and they have different uh, uh, different services to offer to the client. So you'll definitely know that you'll be trained to know how to use some of these gadgets in Warsaw forever. Remember, this will not discriminate between the female and the male. And definitely, we find ourselves doing what is that. When it comes to what you call domestic jobs, domestic, domestic for example, you at domestic cleaning services, they offer cleaning to... Uh, what you call uh, households, domestic households, residential area, you know, whatever, even. They may also take up what you call housekeeping services. They may also take out ironing, uh, laundry, at the same time, to make sure that at the end of it all, the customer is satisfied or is really satisfied with the service that is given to him or her at that very time. Remember, Something that still we need to stress that sometimes the domestic services may either be paid per hour, per week, or even monthly, depending on how best uh, the client uh, agrees or the client uh, agrees with, uh, with uh, the, the, the person who is giving the contract at that very time. And uh, further still, when we go to that, we can look at uh, what we call... Um, the general cleaning or what you call the commercial cleaning. We look at offices, we look at restaurants, uh, we look at uh, cars, cleaning in uh, uh, car workshops, uh, cleaning washing bays. That is also another form of services of cleaning that is being provided. And all those opportunities, we cannot fail to mention what you call the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Then we also something that we cannot fail to, to mention. And when you talk about cleaning, we talk about what you call fumigation or what you call pesto controls and fumigation in whatever um, disinfectants building. It's also part of under what you call uh, cleaning. It's a service that is being provided in one way or the other. Remember, still we cannot fail to mention about salary. Salary, what you call the, the basic salary in Qatar, which starts with an amount of 1,000 as the basic salary with a food allowance of three, uh, 300 and what you call accommodation allowance with uh, 500 in case you are not given accommodation. But remember, most of the jobs in Qatar you are always given accommodation. So you will expect what the startup salary will be uh, 1,300 Qatar real at that say That will be getting this, uh, the starting salary. And when we talk about what we call working hours, for most of you, or for most of you are coming to Qatar for the first time, and those that may be planning to come out, come to Qatar for the first time, normally the working hours uh, start from uh, 48 hours a week. Why do we say 48 hours? So if we say 48 hours a week, that means you are entitled to work to eight hours 
per day and you always have uh, uh, one day off or you will work 26 days and you'll have four days off in a, in a month but otherwise depending on any other situation that may may come in and what kind of agreement you may have with your employer or what kind of contract you may have you find some other cleaning companies are working for 12 hours or are working for nine hours and remember but remember those extra hours that will be worked will be required to what we call overtime and they will be paid still something that i have to remind you much as we talk about the basic salary we also some companies also consider what we call the experience your salary also the increase also will also be ex, uh, considered looking at how much experience you have in the cleaning for example we look at in uh, domestic and we look at housekeeping and some commercial services they also look at what you call the basic cleaning or what you call the experience you have at that very time remember when we are talking about the 48 hours of work that means that that, that exactly gives us uh, the answer that is supposed to be eight hours but remember you are always given what to call overtime for that due depending on the kind of contract that you have at that very time and something still you don't have to something still we cannot underestimate when we're talking about cleaning jobs in Qatar is the opportunities are always there that there are very many cleaning uh, cleaning companies that are doing that and they still need very many cleaners at the time of it all because of the FIFA World Cup and the very many opportunities occurring coming here so you definitely expect to have and uh, something still we talk about food is that some cleaning companies you may find some cleaning companies are giving out food they may give you what you call four meals a day from breakfast uh, lunch supper and what you call uh, or three bre uh, uh, what you call dinner uh, company with what you call drinks at the time that can be an individual arrangement and video arrangement for given companies in case you get to learn in that company where they have to give that for that case thank you so much for coming back to this channel remember it makes giving a highlight of cleaning jobs in Qatar. thank you so much see you again in the next video don't forget to subscribe to this channel if it's your first time don't forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell you raise updated when we upload a new video see you again in the next video video.